Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Stitching with Laura. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody's having a great day. Well, today we have another unbagging, so that means we have another review. Let's take a look and see. I'm trying to pick up a couple things here. See who they're from. Well, we have a cross stitch and we have a diamond painting and a little tool. We have an empty box. I assume that there was something in it, but evidently it got squished. So what we have is this. So let's put this all over here. Let's see how many there are. This is from FG Normal. There's a 369. 10 rolls of paper tape and it's I'm assuming it's barely sticky barely sticking because it's paper tape but when you're doing a diamond painting you can section off sections and then you know remove it with the plastic paper or whatever afterwards but it can used to section off your diamond paintings I can't see much of a reason to use it for anything else and it comes in 10 different colors here you got a bright yellow you got a dark yellow this one's kind of a teal and we have brown and peach and orange like a bittersweet orange and then orange and a blue and a dark dark blue so yeah We'll, I'll show you, demonstrate it, you know, when I open the diamond painting there. That was $2.13 for 10 rolls of that. So that's not bad. We can get rid of the plastic box now. And in this little dealie, I saw these. I just thought they were kind of cute and tiny. It is, if I can get it open, of course there's a piece of tape. Of course. It should just left well enough alone. I guess it doesn't snap shut. Is that half the problem? Or it wouldn't stay shut. I get it. Okay. So, there it is. I don't know. And it's kind of heavy. It won't sit, lay down. I'll try to hold it from the bottom. And can you see? Focus, focus. Come on, focus. Sometimes I get too close to this thing in it. Anyway, it's got two diamond painted eyes, and then there's two more glittery diamond painted, diamond painting jewels, and like three tens put into the plastic with a little metallic drop and it has a magnet so it's used to hold your paper back and they come in several uh, different colors there I've seen them at other stores as well but yeah they're just kind of cute and little they'd be perfect for little hands you know to hold down their plastic on their little projects. So yeah, and it was $2 and 13 cents as well. So I see that thing broke off. So, oh, it, it's just not real well. I love plastic, but that is supposed to go down and snap and yeah, it won't. So we'll just keep it over here. So, yeah, I just thought it was cute. It's just a little deal. So, let's get on to the diamond painting here. I can't remember what I ordered. I looked, and it says one thing, but it's like, hmm, no. Oh, for pity's sake, what the heck? I guess I could just pull it. There you go, Laura. Oh, my goodness. It does need to be big enough and wide enough here so I can get the diamond painting out. It's not very big, 
This is where did it go? A thirty by forty. Oh, we got a boat wax tray and a pen. It was right there, so it just pulled out. And this diamond painting was three dollars and seventy-five cents. Oh, how pretty! I remember now. Let's just set the drills aside. Roll it backwards just a second, and then we can get the full on cube. It has 24 colors, but I just thought it was very colorful. Another one of those things to work on when it's snowing outside and it's cold and you really want it to be spring. got it upside down I know and there was like a choice of two so or two or three I can't remember I believe it was two but I picked this one because of the yellow rose right in the middle it was just beautiful we'll measure it and then uh, I'll show you how to use that tape whoop flip it is almost 40 by almost 30 actual picture is 13 and a half by mm, nine and a half so if you put like an edging all the way around it you know and cut off the excess you could put it in a 11 by 14 frame that's what i like about uh, 40 30 by 40s We'll look at these. These are the drills. It just has the product number. Right up here is the product number, how big it is. There's a little teeny tiny picture there. But it's just gorgeous. Look at all those lovely colors. Just beautiful. Hang on, there will be crinkling. And since it's a 30 by 40, it's not very big. It wouldn't take you very long. You could probably finish it in a month. I don't know. I Everybody diamond paints at a different time, you know. Um, there are no, I was going to say, there are no uh, DMC numbers on this. Just has the number of the, the drill. Let's turn it this way so we can see all the pretty colors. So we got a forest green and a brick red. Kind of a blue violet. Pale yellow, orange yellow, more orange yellow, darker orange yellow, and an orange, and then uh, a lighter, not so bright, it's kind of a dull yellow, and that's a bright yellow. Some more tangerine color, and red, looks like a um, 3 to 1? Nope. Nine is 666 red. That one's kind of a dark coral. We've got a little bit of green in there. That's got to be 550 purple. Oh, I'm sorry. Yep. 550 purple. Oh, my favorite purple. And some gray. Some more orange. And some more red. It is. Th that one's 321. And a peach color. And kind of a, a dark burgundy, if you will. You got kind of a dark cranberry, kind of a tangerine orange. Look at that blue. Ooh, pretty. And some hot pink. So, very pretty colors in there. You know me in color. <laughs> Gotta have color. Hang on. People next door were coming and going. So, she figured she had to put her two cents worth in, you know, because she runs the bar. For sure. Okay. We'll just set that aside for a second. We are not going to try to get that back into the bag. So, where did the... First, we'll do this. So, this will hold your paper back. So, put that on that side. He does not want to sit. Let me put it underneath it. And then try to... There we go. And that will hold your paper back. Very strong magnet. 
That's awesome. This is so pretty. I don't know if I want to wait till winter. Anyway, so that's how that works. Come on. Lay down so you'll fit back in the box. And then this tape. Oh, well, I had one. Let's use yellow just for, you know, sheer fact. Where's the end? But you can run it across like so. And then you can section off areas so you know where to cut and where to stop drilling. You know, instead of just, I just kind of feel along. You know, if I run out of glue, then I know there's plastic there. But, you know, some people like to uh, separate out their entire diamond painting. And they even use those papers. I haven't seen those at any of these stores to cover it. So you can't see what's coming next. Yeah, I had to unwind a whole bunch, right? So, yeah, this will come in handy. Because I'd like to, like, divide it maybe, like, here. I haven't had any tape for a long time. You can use washi tape for the same thing. And that way you can just section it out. I don't have to cover it up. I don't mind seeing what's coming. Or it doesn't make me anxious that I've got that much more to do. Because I usually get big diamond paintings when I do diamond paintings. So, yeah. So that's pretty cool for five something. I just love all the beautiful colors. I think it'll be gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. All right, let's set that aside and look at the cross stitch. This is called Seaside Cafe. It is a Joy Sunday wannabe in a Joy Sunday bag. It is 56 by 42. It's an 11 count. And I'll take it all out of there. Oh my goodness. A little windy. Yesterday blew up all the dust. Here we are again. Cough, cough, cough. All right. Whoops. Everything's attached. Let me get it turned around there. Isn't that pretty? And it's got some back stitching here and there and everywhere. And it says at the top, pre-printed fabric and dispensable chart reading. So here's the chart. Holy cow. And I was going to see how many colors it had. It has 30, 36 colors. There's all the colors. The chart is this way. On one side and this on the other. So there is some back stitching to be done so that you can see everybody. But nice definition of everything. Looks very easy to read. This pattern will not match your canvas. Totally different um, symbols. It'll have the same colors, but um, yeah won't have the same symbols and it looks like it's only got one symbol the rest of it is numbers and letters so this has full stitch sorry full stitch I'll just fold it in half French knot back stitch more back stitch and more back stitch because you're going around all different kinds of things it is a partial do you see these white boxes those are empty boxes and then part of the sky you don't do they consider it a partial you can see it better here so when it's bright bright white that's on that awning and in the sky a little bit on this little walkway but I just thought it was a pretty picture I really did just gorgeous and if you have to use this it's very easy to read big symbols and you can find where you're at because it's all gridded let's take a look at the colors Wait, shake it down a little bit 
shake it down. And it's on one of these. They just lap it over type things. Beautiful colors. Not quite. I don't think it's fall. It's more of a summer picture. You know, because everything's green. and The flowers are blooming. I was trying to get to the other side here. Well, maybe not. Fine. We'll fix your wagon. I'll just take you apart. There they all are. Isn't that pretty? Just beautiful. And there are, before I forget, two needles right here. So, yeah. I kind of like these. They're very easy to take the, the threads off with if you wanted to. You know, you can put it on something else as far as that goes. But very nice, summery looking green picture. And I like that it had a lighthouse in the background. Sorry, I got stuff everywhere. Let me undo the canvas. Okay. The canvas does have the product numbers and the name that was on the front. Very nice. Nice fabric. Surged all the way around as usual. Very easy to read. Symbols going down that side and along the bottom. So, yeah. And it doesn't look real confetti Like I said, this one is going to be... Um, the back stitching is going to make the picture. I always say that when there's lots of space and area. Once you get the definition in there with the back stitching, you know you'll see a beautiful picture. But you have to do the cross stitching first, and it does not look too horrible or terrible or confettied, you know, at all. Very nice. Very nice. And all these symbols, let me see if I can pull it up, just real easy, um, are very easy to read. All the numbers, you can see all the DMC numbers. And they're very nicely printed onto the canvas. I like that part too. Let's see, what did I do? Oh, like how far could you go? Jeepers, creepers. So the whole canvas is, hang on, we're getting there. 55 by 43. I don't remember what it said. Hang on. 55 by, nope, it's supposed to be 56 by 42. So it's a little bit wider, but it doesn't hurt anything as far as I'm concerned. I'm going from stitch to stitch. It's 44 and a half by. 32 and a half, which is 12 and 3 quarters by 17 and a half. So, very nice. Very nice. And it looks very simple. There's not a whole lot of big, huge, giant areas to stitch. It's just, just right, you know? In fact, it's so right, we're going to start this. I'll be right back. All right, I am back. And I'm going to start right up here on this top window of this building. And we'll just go from there. Yeah. And the color that I picked was 3799. And we'll be doing the lime green uh, symbol here. Oh my goodness gracious. What a day. Now this kit, I forgot to tell you, was 1718. And it is an 11 count, so I'm using three strands. Very nice thread as usual for Joy Sunday. I'll put this over here. It kind of makes everything kind of heavy. I got my little needle minder that has the... Let's see if I can get you down. It has the little bears doing the yard work. I think they're bears. They could be pigs. I think they're bears. But if I'm wrong, I, I apologize. 
There we go. Move my. Oh my goodness, everything is attaching itself. I was just going to turn it sideways. So, uh, FG Normal has, of course, diamond painting and cross stitch. They also have counted cross stitch. They have paint by number, beaded cross stitch. They have tools and crafts for cross stitch and diamond painting. I'm not sure if um, they have crafts and tools for paint by number. And they have embroidery, embroidery in silk or, you know, like on cotton. So, and if there's any specials that they're, they're running, I will put it in the description box below. Also, um, I don't know if they do custom or not. They also have paper quilling, scrapbooking, and wool and felt projects, I think. And um, that wax sealing stuff. I don't know what that has to do with everything. Just probably just another thing to add to their little repertoire. I've, several stores have that. And I, I don't get the connection myself. But I've never sealed a diamond painting with wax. Or a cross stitch with wax so or embroidery I, I don't get it I do not know how to do batik so there you are it is what it is what it is and if the, like I started to say if there's any specials I'll put that in the description box and it does uh, did say free shipping on orders over 40 pounds so I don't know what that is equivalent to American money but I will look up Google that and put it up or put it in the description box. I'll leave the 40 pounds and then I'll say or, you know, so many US dollars. That kind of thing. But yeah, I've had nothing but good luck with FG Normal. They always have great prices, a great selection, and that that makes a store right there, you know, when I have a lot to choose from. And I see a lot of the same things. Sometimes I see stuff I've never seen before. So it happens. It happens. This is kind of a charcoal green, if you will. I, I don't know how else to explain it. Oh, and I'm using my, my tape. Because, you know, it's that time of the week. And I jammed my needle up and down my... Into my finger so many times, so... We're here to use in tape because I've I have no idea where my uh, thimble is at this point. It always kind of just runs away, and then I find it again. And I haven't lost it in ten years, so I mean for for good lost it. So I figure we're doing pretty well. The only problem I come into is if we go somewhere, like on an overnight trip or a trip for two or three days and I take it with me and I want to have a thimble with me and scissors and stuff and I shove it into a bag I have to remember to get it out of there so yeah but it can't go very far in this house of course if it fell under the couch it might as well be the black hole of Calcutta because yeah moving it is a pain in the neck it's one of those uh, it's like a love seat you know width and it's got those recliners like dual recliners so it's wide enough for two people to sit there with their feet up so to speak it never happened but I just always had to have a table in front of me to put my monitor for my computer so yeah I never have used the uh, recliners And I don't want to leave that out because I don't want Molly getting underneath it, you know. Because that would not be good. So, it's never been used the way it's supposed to be used. And I don't know if they have... Oh, 
and they do have custom for diamond painting and paint by number only so they don't do cross stitch custom some stores do all three some don't it I don't know what I started to say was uh, if it has a special joy Sunday section or not I'm not sure and I don't know that this was marked joy Sunday let me look in my notes. No, my notes does not say, you know, that it was a Joy Sunday. Some places do, some places don't. Or they have, like, a, a separate Joy Sunday section within the cross-stitch drop-down. And some have it going all the way, you know, on the, the bar all the way across. So, just depends. So don't know that either but I can almost pick out a joy Sunday just by the way it looks or I've you know had other kits that were similar to that we'll just do one one thread here about at the end of this But I just thought this was a good place to start and it's easy to hang on to. As you can see, I crinkled it a little bit. Just to kind of break the fabric down enough to get a hold of it. And since I'm right-handed, I like all that excess fabric this way. Does that make sense? I don't know. It seems like if I start in the middle, I'm screwed from the get-go. That, that won't happen, but, yeah. <coughs> Come on. Good gravy. Sorry. Everything gets up in my face. It keeps coming at me. Makes it a little bit difficult to stitch. This almost looks like black, but you can see kind of a gray variant in it. It's not quite dark, dark enough to be black. Like I said, it looks like a charcoal green. Oh, well, I think we're going to lose this. Come on. Seriously. There we go. We'll just get rid of that thread. These scissors are not real well. They don't want to stay flush, so they keep getting crossed over like that. They're kind of cheap. But what do you expect for $5 scissors, please? I know. I've had Fiskars that have lasted for 20 years that I probably only paid $3 and a half for. All right, guys. But there you can see just a little bit of this. Thank you, FG Normal for sending me these beautiful kits and tools. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you for joining me today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and please hit the bell. That way you'll know when my next video comes out. Stay safe, stay healthy. We'll see you next time. God bless. Bye-bye.